everyone welcome to my channel this is Vijay Lakshmi today we are discussing the exercise exercise problem of Naibase algorithm so here given a sample data set with eight instances so and uh, four independent attributes that is assignment assessment project and seminar and the target variable is result so the model has to predict whether the student is going to pass or fail okay so here in Naibase algorithm, the first step what we follow is we compute the, in Naibase algorithm, first we compute what? We compute the prior probability and posterior probability. So before that, in the question, he has given the sample data set. Suppose, uh, the, suppose the assessment, okay, the assessment is average and assignment is yes and project is no. The student has not submitted the project and if seminar is good, predict the result of the student and he has said that we have to predict the result whether he is pass or fail and apply Laplace correction if zero probability problem occurs. So this is what he has given in the question. Okay. So now we'll proceed with the same. You can refer my previous videos. We have solved many problems on this and this is just a continuation of the exercise problem. So here first is what consider the target variable that is result find how many pass and fail are there in this eight instances. So here we have pass 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 pass. 5 pass, so total number of instances and how many fail we have here? We have 3 fail, 8 minus 5 that is 1, 2 and 3 fails we have, so 3. And find the probability value of this that is 5, out, 5 by 8. And here we write it as 3 out of 8 are negative. So 3 by 8. So this is the first step. We are computing the prior probability for the target class. Similarly, for all the attributes, we have to compute the prior probability for all these also. Just I have listed in the table. You can see it. Uh, so here we are computing the frequency matrix and probability for each of the feature. So first I am considering assessment. So the same way for assessment, how many pass we have three categories good average sorry we have two categories good and average and we have to find similarly how many pass and fail are there for the assessment that is if you see the sample data set here for assessment good if you take find how many s are there in the uh, result here how many pass are there similarly if you take average for average how many fail and pass are there for good how many fail and pass are there if i take good attribute here i have instance one is pass and for good instance three is also pass and instance six is pass and instance uh, eight is also pass totally we have four instances for good and it is pass so here that's what we have written here good how many pass instances we have four instances so that's what we have written here fail is zero so what is the probability of pass? So here uh, to write the prior probability, we have to take even the average also into consideration. So for average, how many pass we have and how many fail we have? See the sample data set. So in the sample data set, instance two average, it is fail, okay? And average attribute, see again here we have fail. And fifth instance average, we have fail. This is the third one. Then again for average, you have fail. So totally we have four fails for the attribute average for assessment and pass is zero. Like this you should see the target variable and then you have to fill how many pass and how many fail are there. So for average we got pass is one okay and fail is four. So total take how many pass are there four plus one it is five and similarly zero plus three you have three here fail. So here total instances here. So we write number of pass here is 4 out of 5. So we write here 4 by 5. Similarly, we have fail is 0 out of 3. So 0 plus 3 you should take now total here for the fail. And we are writing for good now. For good alone if I take I have to write fail is 0 by 3. Okay. Similarly, do for average 1 by 5. Okay. So here 1 is pass or average. 1 student is average out of 5. And here all the three, three out of three means all the three have failed out of total three fail instances. So here we write the prior probability for this as three by three. So here we take 
how many total uh, instances of pass for both the attributes good and average as well as for a fail for good and average the total so the like based on that only we are going to write this prior uh, likelihood probability this is called as a likelihood probability next for assignment the same way see the sample data set given and find how many yes uh, we have two categories yes or no for assignment find how many pass and how many fail like how i showed you in the previously so we have two pass and two fail for s attribute and three no and one fail for no attribute totally we have how many here two plus three it is five and here it is two plus one it is three this is for pos positive that is fair for, for positive pass you have fa uh, five and for negative fail you have three okay so now write the likelihood probability so we write for this two by five and for this one fail two by three so that's what we have written here two by five and two by three for this row similarly for the second row no three by five one by three so three by five and one by three so this last uh, row just put it as 100 percent 100 percent likelihood probability or simply you can put hyphen it will not affect our result okay just you can put 100 percent or just an hyphen similarly even for assessment also you can put here hyphen or you can put 100 percent and go for the project next count here also we have two categories yes and no so count how many pass and fail so this is what we computed and what is the probability here 4 by 5 probability of pass is 4 out of 5 instances and fail is 1 out of 3 instances so 1 by 3 similarly here 1 by 5 no probability of no out of 5 1 by 5 so we wrote here 1 by 5 and this is 2 out of 3 we write it is 2 by 3 and just put here 100 percent that's all guys then take the next attribute seminar even for this also count how many pass and fail so we got three here so three out of five so here the likelihood priority is three by five and here it is one so one out of three one by three similarly here two by five and two by three put hundred percent here now what is the sample data set given to us when assessment is average yes given in the question itself assessment is average assignment should be s and project should be no and seminar should be good so now uh, with these conditions we have to identify what is the uh, what is the model is going to predict the students result as pass or the fail so for this what we are using we are using the naibase uh, algorithm so here is a uh, naibase algorithm is what max of p e bar, e bar h into p of h divided by p e so here uh, for pass here this is uh, what is the probability map uh, p of probability of e of h so here probability of evidence on some hypothesis here the hypothesis is what we have taken here is it is pass the assume that the student is going to pass the exam the probability for this new instance what are the new instances we are considering here so that is probability of pass this is probability of pass means this is the likelihood priority we have to consider the overall likelihood priority of this that is uh, we write now uh, this is uh, p e of h into p h so which is nothing but p of h e into p of h we write now so this p of h itself is p of pass okay into p of assessment when average the student is passed we have to see the average when student is passed into p of assignment p of assignment when the student is yes that is pass and project is no already has given for pass we have to consider for seminar he has given good for pass again evidence is pass we have to consider now i'll show you from the table how to fetch these values p of pass that is the target attribute we calculated target uh, frequency matrix we calculated so what is the value here p of pass guys it is if you see here probability value for pass it is 5 by 8 this value we have considered okay 5 by 8 and pro this one uh, pro assessment is average so here if you see the assessment uh, here average so assessment average on pass is what you are having assessment average on pass it is probability is 1 by 5 so this is 1 by 5 now with these two i'll show you here see here we have written 5 by 8 from the target attribute into 1 by 5 1 by 5 for this average pass 
for assessment into what is the next attribute for all the attributes we should take assignment in the assignment table you should see pass yes of pass so here go back so in assignment table for s yes of pass if you have if you see for s yes of pass is 2 by 5 okay substitute this value there 2 by 5 so we have done here 2 by 5 if you see here this value 2 by 5 next how we got 1 by 5 here see this pass of in project attribute the attribute should be no on evidence pass so here no on evidence pass so go back to the project here so on no what is the no on evidence pass we have 1 by 5 okay so take this value and similarly i'll take a seminar here given seminar is good so seminar good on pass is what 3 by 5 so i'm going to substitute now this 2 by 5 from this assign uh, the, this uh, 1 by 5 from project table and 3 by 5 that is a seminar good 3 by 5 like this all the instances what they have given here for the pass you have to take from the likelihood probability from all the attributes whatever i have selected for the pass in this way so here just substitute multiply so we have written 1 by 5 into 3 by 5 into this what p of into 5 by 8 i hope you understood how we got this p probability of pass alone into p of h that p of h value instead of writing here i have written in the beginning itself so you will get the answer as what 0 0.006 okay so this is one similarly for probability fail on for fail instance also we have to calculate now the same thing for fail we considered here all as pass now consider all fail instances now for the same thing so probability of fail here we have to see in the tar we have to see the target variables fail that is 8 3 by 8 we got if you remember so it is 3 by 8 into now assessment is what average on fail assignment is uh, yes on fail we have to see now again how we can fetch this here so here the same thing i am taking here see a probability 3 by 8 we have this is 3 by 8 from this we have i am taking probability of fail that is then from assessment average so take see the average attribute for this average in assessment table for the average what is the probability of fail it is 3 by 3 this 3 by 3 into and again for assignment here it's for the yes you should see the fail for the assignment s for the fail is what here 2 by 3 so 3 by 3 into 2 by 3 and into what is the project here for no for project no and see here the fail into 2 by 3 into seminar good on fail seminar good on fail is what 1 by 3 so what we have to do now we have to multiply this 3 by 3 into 2 by 3 into 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 into what is the probability of failure that is p of h that is 3 by 8 so this is what we have substituted here guys in the last page if you see the same thing you see here that is 3 by 8 last i wrote there so that is nothing but the same thing 3 by 8 into 3 by 5 into 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 into 1 by 3 okay so here that's what we have written here 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 so here two uh, uh, sorry this is two by th two by three into this is this is for no we should see here so for no if you see this is two by three i have taken for this is two by three for the no instance we should see okay project is no so i took previously for project no instead of two by three i was written one by three just change it it is two by three okay two by three into two by three into one by three into three by eight okay guys so here for assessment average for assessment average for fail what we have 3 by 3 okay so we have substituted here then if you write this one what is the value you are getting 0 0.0555 so in this how what is the what will be your answer now whichever has the highest value that only will be your model prediction so here if you observe this fail instances is 
greater value it is having 0 0.055 value compared to 0 0.006 so here the model will predict as fail okay and also if you see we don't need to do any laplace correction here when do we go for laplace correction if any of the model is giving you the result zero then we go for the laplace correction so here we don't go for the laplace correction here guys so that's all about this so i hope you have understood so properly you have to see the sample data set okay and you have to see for probability of fail or pass for each of the attribute whatever they have given according to that you have to do this please don't forget to subscribe like and share and if you have exams please uh, comment when do you have exams so that i can make more videos thank you